Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Louise. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Buffalo SVG file. Now first open up your Affinity. Then click on File, New. Then on the side here, if you look there, there's millimeters. Make sure it's not on pixel. Normally by default it's by pixel. We want millimeters. Click 100. Put 100 in the page width. 100 in the page height. Click create. So now if we needed to draw here the lines, it would be very difficult to draw them without the grid lines. Because you're not going to get it perfect you know trying to work out exactly where those lines go you can guarantee that you're going to go crooked so what you do is you go to view click on view show grid now I'm doing black so I don't really want these black and I want it a bit clearer my eyesight's not so great you know this getting old so I go to grid and axis manager here I change this to red and then you most probably find yours is somewhere down there or light to make it stronger you go that way where it's gray so now you can see it's quite strong but I want to make sure that I've got it at the right size so I've gone 10 millimeter so 10 millimeter so you click on basic now click on pen not the node the pen Start over there, click one, down, up, cross. Now click on your arrow, click on the fill, and we want black. It doesn't have to be 100% black, but it needs to be black. Now click off so there is nothing selected, and then click pen again. Click next square. So you can see I'm missing one square and going to the next square and click. Then click the arrow and fill. Now you can use shortcuts. All right. So first let's just do this one right. I need the pen. So click P. If you see it's a little arrow, click P again and then you will get your pen. Click on your squares. Now if you notice you get a red line going across then you know that you've got it dead on there. Now you see there I've got a green line and a red. Knows that I'm dead on the line. Alright so there again red and green I know I'm dead on the line and click. Now press V. Now if you can hear my dog snoring in the background I do apologize he does like to snore. So we keep on doing that till the end. I'll fast forward this, but it gets a bit boring. You want to know what to do next. So you've come to the end. So now what you need to do is press the arrow again. Select all. So you select the whole square. How you do this is you put the click the arrow press your left key and slide it right away across so that the whole square you'll see that it's all now group it don't forget to group it it just makes it easy so you're not dealing with lots of little lines now copy the whole square you can either right click and click copy or you can control c that copies as well now what we're going to do is open a new one. Now I'm just going for the A, A O, or A1. It's up to you which one, but I just go A O. Right now you've got your grid lines here, but go back onto your grid and axle manager because you don't want it automatic. You want it basic. Okay. Close it. Don't worry. You've got a hundred thousand. Right, press control and zoom up with your mouse. 
Control V and you have pasted the bit that you had copied on the other page. So we need a square. So first make sure that's not selected. Go to your square. Now you see, do you see where I get that green line? Okay. That means I'm dead on it and that's what you need. Now you go up to 200. Now when you've got it on the grid lines, it normally will hook onto it. Okay, you can be it closer. All right, this one just needs just a little bit. There we are. Because you're trying to get 100 by 100. Right, now we need to put the full, which is black. Next, Control V, because we need another one of those. Grab it down, and you will slip it there. Can you see your green line? So now we've got four squares. Now, select them all, group it, Control Copy, or if you don't want to use the keys, you can copy it that way. Right, control paste. So I always find control V, which will paste it. Again, wait for your green line up. Then again, control V. So you're now making it bigger. Come right across. And you get that green line, you know you're dead on. Control, move your mouse wheel. Because now we've got to select it all. Control copy. Control paste. So we keep going down. So I'm just continually controlling. There we are. Control paste. Ah. If you do that, control Z to put it back. All right, so we need the top group. So click on that. Two, three, four. Because I've gone and we don't want so hold your shift key there we are so we've got a nice size there now get your blank square before you do that highlight them all and group them again so it's a small group to deal with now get your red square see i've got a green and a red so i know i'm spot on green there we are it should be spot on again and if you look underneath, sometimes you can see where the lines are. All right, so we've got that sorted. Now we need to move that to the back. But we don't want it black, we want it red. So we tick red, put on the arrow, and I want it red. Okay? Take away your... You don't want the grids anymore. So that one I need to fill red. There we are. What you do is select them all, file, export them as a PNG. We don't want the whole document. We just want it without the background. Put the size that you want. So we want it 3000 and export. Now I've redone, I've done this video a hundred. So we'll, we'll just put this one as take two because I'm still learning how to record screens. So it's exported it. Right, open Inkscape. Click on the file. Open. Where you saved your other PNG file, open that one. Do not open an SVG file. Open a PNG. Then click OK. Make your file bigger. Select your design. You can see by the little arrows on the side that it's been selected. Click Path, then select Trace Bitmap. You want multi scans and you want colors and you want it stacked must be stacked update click ok then put that aside let it think move that across 
and remove your PNG file because this has now converted this into an SVG file. Now ungroup, click outside the square that you want, click on it again and move across. Now that's nice so you can put that as black black then you know it's right. This one we don't need so we delete it. Same with that one, delete it. Now I do eight colors because I just find it easier because I can always delete but I can't put it on. Now you think this would be a flat piece, it's not. If I put the nodes on, can you see? Now your knife will cut along all these nodes which will just make a mess of your vinyl. So delete that one. If you're not sure, just put the nodes on and you can see. Then delete. Now we'll put the nodes on. That's nice and clear now. So we can keep that. Now I'm going to keep that as red. So I've changed it to red. Now this one on the back we don't need, so we can delete it. So we've now got our two pieces that we want. So line it up. If you find that you have a problem lining it like that, go back onto the red if you see a blank red bit and then come down. There we are, all nicely fitted and finished. So we save this file, save as, save. Now, I've, like I said, I've done about 20 of these now because I just can't get the videoing right. So now we go to Shortcut, Easy Cut Studio. Now I want SVG and I will look for Take 2. But now I use the SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphics. Click Open. So now you can see I have done them. If I click on here, it will show that I've only got two colors. So that will go through the plotter cutter with great, greatest of ease. Adjust to the size that you require. So, I mean, if I wanted it 10 centimeters, I can click it on 10 centimeters and it will automatically do it. Well, at last, we've come to the end. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It will really help me, encourage me to keep going. And also comment. I do also do all sorts of other crafts. So take care. Stay safe. Bye.